Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin, if you're meeting me for the first time and today, <laughs> today we're talking about the brand new BS1H. And I'm gonna let you know my thoughts and um, if I'm gonna be switching from the BGH one to the BS1H, um, who is it for? and all that we just want to help you decide uh, if that's the right camera for you if you're here for the first time i would love for you to subscribe to the channel here we do movie tech reviews short films the whole entertainment yard like if you love to make movies or love to learn how to make movies then yep this is the channel for you and uh, we go straight to today's topic it all started with the bgh1 at least for me that's how i got into panasonic and haven't fallen in love with the system um now there is the bs1h now the question is should i switch I am few months in and I'm loving the Micro Four Thirds, which of course I'm not new to. I've been there for the Blackmagic Pocket 4K, um, but back again for the Micro Four Thirds, never been to full frame. Now there's an opportunity for full frame on the BS1H. What do you think I should do? <laughs> we'll talk about that much later. but. First of all, I'm going to just run through some similarities and differences, just a general overview to give you an idea of what you're getting in this camera. Okay, I'm right now I'm shooting on the BGH1, so you know, for whatever reason, I just wanted you to know. Okay, I guess I can say this. The BSH1 is the SH1, you know, meshed with the BGH1. Um Full frame now is what we are talking about. That is awesome. The, the body is the exact same. Nothing changed. In fact, your cages, oh, actually, nothing's changed but, but a few. Um, and those are uh, extra functions at the front uh, for presets. And then now there's a lock uh, to like uh, lock down the system when you're done with your settings and you don't want anything to get messed up during shooting so you can um, lock it so you don't mistakenly move something at least that's what i gather from now 14 stops of dynamic range now now that's a step up over the bgh1 major differences will be full frame versus micro four thirds and then 14 stops against 13 stops, okay? It's still the same dual system as the card. It's 6K, just like the S1H, okay? It's not 4K, but there is 4K. Um, 6K resolution, full frame sensor. The battery solution, of course, is the same uh, with the EVA one, which means more power, more runtime. I have two good news, okay? Um, you can use your cages like if I decide to upgrade to the S um, to the BS 1H I can still use my small rig cage same size that's what I mean even though there's one or two buttons introduced uh, it's still the same form factor and the cages can still um, fit in all cages except except for the S8 scene it sin s i n the sin cage um for some reason that it's not going to be to fit but that's an information i got from uh, panasonic um, their own um, broadcast okay it comes with the l mount highly adaptable and you know imagine that my serial lens the micro four thirds serial lens can you know, with the latest adaptations that are now available, my Siri can be adapted to this L mount. That is huge. That's not a problem anymore. You just get the right adapters and you can um, have it on your BG, um, you can have it on your BS1H. 
Now it's gonna be hard to remember all these PGS one H and PGH one and stuff like that. So bear with me if I do mix them up sometime. And if I do notice that, I'll write it on the screen. Uh, let's talk. The autofocus is pretty much the same. Uh, I don't know if the BGH1 has a better autofocus autofocus system than the S1H. Uh, if it does, then the BGH1 will have better autofocus than the BS1H. I saw a comparison that made it look like the BGH1 had better autofocus than the S1H. And if that is true, then the BGH1 has better autofocus than the BS1H. Am I helping you make your decision now? The price. The price goes for $3,500. But who is it for? It's for people who needs, um, who have the same needs as we got the BGH1 for. Crash cameras um, with better quality. Now the BS1H is, I can get us a better picture than the BGH1, that's for sure. You got 6K resolution plus a higher dynamic range than the BGH1. Same form factor, but better pictures. So, what you say? Are you gonna jump on it? 6, 6K24, 5.9K uh, for 30, and uh, I think 4K for 60 frames per second. The BS1H, already has the ability to um, record Blackmagic um, RAW externally using the Blackmagic camera, uh, monitors. Otherwise, you go ahead and use ProRes RAW externally using the Atomos Ninja 5 or any of the Atomoses. But the good news for the BGH one users is that bro is also coming to you which means to me and that comes in november so keep your fingers crossed there's not much to be missed in this new camera if bro comes into the pgh one which i'm recording with right now then it will make it easier for me to merge my pictures with my 6K Pro uh, Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro and um, life will be smoother, right? But imagine what you can achieve with a, with using a 6K Blackmagic against a 6K Panasonic full frame versus EF you can get more of that background blur from a full frame and they are both 6K and you cannot all end up in Blackmagic RAW. That is tempting. So to wrap it up, what are my thoughts? I think it's a great solution. It's a great offer. It's a great, it will be a great step up to upgrade the BGH1 to the S, um, BS1H. However, I will have to sleep on it because I am, um, you know, I will have to think on it. I won't, I, I can't tell you yes now and change up or no and switch up. If I'm looking for one right now, I'll probably just go, not probably, definitely go for the uh, BS1H. Um, but either way, both will match up with my 6K Pro and um it wouldn't really make any difference now you might say why not just go for black magic 4k and match that up with your 6k trust me that will work that works better that would definitely work better i agree right but there's more uh, i need the autofocus feature i need the um the portability of the camera i need that um flexibility um um rigging and um on gimbals there's a lot so those are just a little bit of the reasons i will let you guys know on the channel what i decide and you'll be the first to know if i do pick up one for you just trying to get into the box camera system i would say go for the bs1h that's a no-brainer yeah but if you have the bgh1 and you're worth looking for another camera 
to upgrade. Uh, I would say consider um, the image stabilization that you're going to miss because trust me, it is it is bad. Uh, bottom line is, if you have the S1H and you're looking for a B camera, perfect. I would say get the BS1H. Great combination. If you have the EVA and you want a B camera, it's possible you could go for the S1H or the BS1H. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching all. Um, if you feedback, welcome. Like, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.